Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Subnautica. It has been a while, but we are back. I be <laughs> Free food. I believe that in the last episode, I ended, uh, I ended the episode with me not knowing how to actually do the upgrades. It's right there. Yeah, it, it, it's right. It, it's right there. It's right there. So we have a common modules, which is hollow reinforcement, energy energy efficient module, storage module. Uh, we have Seamoth modules, of which is going to be really cool. We have depth module, which uh, enhances safe diving depth, as it says. Uh, we have Seamoth solar charger, which is cool. Perimeter defense system, sonar, and torpedo. We also have for the prod suit and torpedoes. Really cool stuff. And storage module would be kind of cool. I don't know what we have in terms of resources. It has been quite a while uh, since the last episode. So let's see if we have... I, I still do that. I still do that. Uh, we do have lithium. We do have lithium and I do have titanium. Getting a storage module would be really cool because that means I could have like extra tools, for example, in this thing. Or extra batteries or something like that. So let's go ahead and make that. And if I remember correctly, well, I do remember correctly, we have two, uh, two life parts that we need to go ahead, go ahead and help. We have life part twelve, and then we have one that is said to be at the um, at the top of the water ocean surface. So we have storage module here. Boom. So I don't know how to access that storage. Maybe on the other side. Uh. No. Open storage. There we go. On the side. Okay, so it's not too much storage, but it's actually pretty decent. We can have, like, the Pathfinder tool in there. We can have some flares if we need them. We could even put the laser cutter in, uh, which I think I'm going to put it there instead and then put the repair tool in here instead. We can also uh, add a first aid kit. That's it. Hmm. That's actually not too bad. Is there any of the other stuff that we can actually make, which is really cool, like hull reinforcement? Titanium diamond. I think we have some diamond, but I don't really feel like we need hull reinforcement. If anything, we would need an energy efficient module. Um, or a solar charge, actually, would be really cool. But I don't know how we make uh, that glass. Let's take a look in the blueprints. Um, Stalker 2. Yeah, we don't have that. <laughs> we don't have that just yet. Um, but yes, we have this life pod right here at the stress signal. We also have another one, which if we go into here... And go into voice log. Uh, life part 12. Mm, data bank. Where is it? I don't remember. This is life part 4. We've landed close to the aurora. Flotation device is active. But we've got some big old fish in the water. Uh, and that was that. Now question is. Do we have any notes for that? Theories, blueprints, data downloads. Aurora Survivors, Life Part 4. We should put Search, actually. Wait. Life Part 4 Transmission Origin. There we go. Uh, a distress signal has been received from Life Part 4, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. So that is the engine of the Aurora. That's what we're kind of over here looking towards this area. Uh, flotation device is active, at least last time we uh, heard from them. Life part located at sea level. Part is in close proximity to radioactive fallout from the Aurora. Transmission already approximately 150 meters northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. So we need to try and find this, and that means we also definitely do need a uh, radioactive uh, suit. Uh, so radiation helmet and radiation glove and radiation suit, and that's a power cell. Don't think I need that. If I could get some batteries, that would be ideal. Ooh, maybe. I don't actually know if I can do this, but having this spare suit in the Seamoth, in the storage of it. Question, does it have two storage? I wonder if I could add another storage thing so it becomes twice as big. I don't know, actually. But if I could store this in here, I can if I, for example, take the first aid kit out. Yeah, there we go. That's actually really, really good. Okay. Let me get some water, let me get some food, get sorted, then we have two distress signals to worry about. Alright, I believe we are ready to go. Add some extra food there. I'm gonna bring some of these lantern fruits. Um, because they, they, can, they can be used for food. They take up a lot of inventory space, but they can be eaten very quickly. 
And one final thing that I'm going to do before we leave as well is head on over here to the life pod, our life pod, and get the automatically generated extra kit there. Do we have anything in here? Only drained batteries. I don't know how we can potentially charge batteries. So I'm going to bring that <laughs> and this. Uh, I don't know if it's possible to actually change batteries. Um, that would be good because I can't actually make any more. And currently, it is kind of a waste just not, like, not being able to, like, recharge them. Because they do go empty. So I don't know if that is potentially a thing that we can get eventually where we can recharge batteries anyway. Um, my scanner is quite low, but really I don't have any copper to actually make new batteries. So we're just going to hope that we find some. Let's get in the Seamoth. 100% power level. Thank you. Good. Let's go. Suck it to the ocean bed. Life part 12. And then we're going to go ahead and hopefully also find life part 4. Oh dear. This is very close to touching, isn't it? Oops. Sorry, fishy. Right. Get to life part 12 because those, they are at the very least like underneath the water. The, their risk of drowning is higher. <laughs> and then finding life part 4 should be fairly easy, I assume. And if we find any ore stuff on the way, I guess we might uh, stop off and get it if we can. Oh yeah, this is the the red, red sea level. I feel like we've been to life part 12, but we only got the radio signal last time. So that's interesting. I think we've been to this, haven't we? I would find it very weird if we haven't. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. What does this even lead to? <laughs> Don't know what that even leads to. Uh, I'm gonna bring actually a couple of these because I do need them for battery stuff. But yeah, this stuff seems looted. There's a lot of like stuff there. Like this stuff we can salvage into titanium, but that's not really what we're here for right now. So going back to the Seamoth, we back to the Seamoth we go. Nothing really worth scanning, from what I can tell. Ooh. Okay, yeah, may 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 maybe we haven't actually been here. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we we haven't been this far out, I don't think. I don't know if we've actually passed the Aurora. I don't feel like that's doable. But I don't know where we are, according to the Aurora right now, actually. Because we haven't, we've definitely not been here before, that's for sure. And I don't know how dangerous this place is either. <laughs> this could be interesting. Ooh, that's a that's a big deposit. I went wait. Wait, 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 wait. Special equipment. Not laser cutter. Dang. That would have been cool if it was a laser cutter, but I apparently need something even more special to get that. Maybe I need a prawn suit or something to get that. Yeah, this place. Maximum depth oh. reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh dear. Hello, thingy. That's lava, isn't it? That's a thermal thingy. And you look very mean. Well, I kind of want to take a look. Actually, you know what? We're good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I need to. Oh, yeah. Sea moth is taking damage. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I need, I need the depth. I do need the depth Warning. upgrade. Maximum yeah, I know. Okay. Hull damage imminent. Okay, that is. Yeah, we definitely haven't been here, that's for sure. Um. Okay, I guess here we go. I should have brought the sea glide thingy. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Yep, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, well, this is open. Get the data box. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, no kidding. I'm seeing a lot of weird shadows. Uh, PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Let's get out of here. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Nope. Please swim. Swim like your life depends on it, because it does. Okay, we're good. <laughs> 
That was uh, interesting. Let's get back in. Get a little bit up to the surface. And let's take a look because we got... Uh, that was that. Secret Crossion, Data Bank, Data Downloads, Aurora Survivors, Life Part 12. Let's listen to this. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Oh. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors yeah. these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good well. is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. Ooh. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. <laughs> The only uh. thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. I mean... Fair point, I guess? Okay, uh... Right. Let's reach the surface. So that's home. I have no idea what's at the surface, actually. <laughs> Let's find out. Don't know whether Aurora is here, according to this. Okay. Can I climb on top? I can. Okay. So the life part, I can't see it from here, but it should be in this vicinity. Looking towards the Aurora. Oh, dear. Yeah, that the Aurora is... Uh, not much of it is remaining, is it? So if I keep going in this direction, southwest west towards base here, and I keep maybe, I think I might actually see it. I think I see it. I don't think that's mine I see. I think I actually do see one. My guess is, my guess is, though, this is my guess, because this is from the picture-ish, right? We go to the data bank, uh... Downloads, scan data, Aurora survivors, nope. Codes and clues, there we go, life part 4. This is kind of it, right? It's clearly not here. My guess is that it's going to be... My guess is it's gonna be, I have sunk. That's my guess, because this is clearly, like, looking at it. This is the exact picture, to be honest. It has to be down below. It has to be. I can't see how it wouldn't be down here somewhere. Well... Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I know. Uh... I'm not seeing it. But I'm not seeing anything on the surface either. I'm seeing that. And that's not it, because that's part of the ship itself. That's really cool, and I kind of want to go down that, but... <laughs> I, I don't... I'm not gonna try. Um... Hmm... Maybe it is at the surface? I'm gonna check this out, though, this wreckage thing over here. We have plenty of power to keep going. And check out this wreckage. Maybe there's something useful. Maybe we haven't been here. Maybe we already have. I don't think so. In fact, I'm fairly certain we have not. Because I see something, I think. Some stuff. Hello. Well, that's creepy. Uh, disinfected water. That's great. Does my light work? Nope. <laughs> it does not. I'll dress for the darkness. There's nothing to scan, though, so that's something. I hate these sounds. This is creepy. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna get lost down here, aren't I? What is this? I'm definitely gonna get lost. I really don't wanna die. <laughs> Can I get out from there? Nope. Okay, I need to go back. I need to go back. Don't have extra air. 
Oh no. Might be trapped, ladies and gentlemen. I can't see, I can't move. This is bad. This is bad ish. You're not helping AI. Passing 200 meters. Uh, Oxygen I'm stressed. Efficiency decreased. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Stress is real. Oxygen. I know. There we go. <gasps> that was not fun. <laughs> that was not fun. Okay. Nope. Nope. Unless I see something really shiny out here. Which I do, actually. I do see something shiny. This thing, maybe. Yep. Scanner room fragment. Don't really need that. But I do see the... Okay, that's just another scanner room fragment. That was a close one, and I... That was way too close for comfort. Um... Right. Let's find that life pod. It's weird it wasn't there, though. Not, not at the bottom, either. Wait. I see something. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, that is so well hidden. Wow. Okay. Yeah, mine didn't land like that. <laughs> well, I mean, it's intact. It no, mind. It's not. It's not. Inventory full. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat some of these before they go bad. All of them, in fact. Get some water, get some of this. Empty the inventory, there we go. First aid kit, data box. Reach a decoy. Okay. Do love. Can I get up? Nope. I want to hear the log. Okay, fine. That's my thing. I want to hear the log. Data bank. Uh. There we go. Crew log. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen oh attempted to swallow the life pod. Oh. Did extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim is longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Oh. I guess that kind of sets the mood for what is next. And it is honestly what I've been wanting to do for a while. And that is that we got to go to the Aurora. I think that's the next move. But for that, I feel like we need some preparation done. Such as I need copper because I need batteries. I, I just need them. <laughs> I need more batteries. I need to bring more food. Need cover for batteries. Um, I think I need... I don't need more upgrades on this thing, but having more upgrades on the Seamoth itself would probably be ideal. Get some of those diamonds. Nice. Um, yeah, getting some of that stuff sorted today. And then... Yeah, I guess the Aurora is up. And... I don't know if we're gonna need any of those creature things, because he said he wanted to go to the Aurora crash site. And, uh, so do I, and maybe I need those? I don't know. I'm not sure if I need them or if I can go without. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go back home. Um, and I guess I need to come up with a bit of a battle plan. And home, sweet home. We are at 50 health, so I've hit quite a few things on the way. Which is not ideal, so maybe that whole upgrade is gonna be good. Let's see what it takes, because, uh, yeah. And I'm also going to look up how to recharge batteries. I'm just gonna do that. Hole in reinforcement, uh, we do have four diamonds, so that's definitely something. Uh, can't have that. Death module, that's also easy. Alright. I need two glass, titanium ingot, and... Uh, what was the other thing? It was something, I'll get it. I don't believe it. I actually am lacking titanium. This is a first. Like, this is a really, really, really first, because, uh... I'm actually lacking titanium. <laughs> that 
Oh, am I lacking titanium? Um. Right, I need to gather more things, apparently. This is interesting music. Okay, the beginning of it was quite creepy. Also, I figured out with the batteries, you apparently need to find something in order to... Uh... Okay, so straight across and then over there. You, you basically need to find the battery charger and scan it two times. So that's something. Oh, wow, there's been these things right here. Okay, so that's the titanium that I need. That is one copper, so that's one extra battery. That's great. Can I find more, please? That would be great. Another copper. Perfect. Okay, so that should give me two batteries at the very least. Is that something I can scan? And yes, mobile vehicle bay fragment. That's going to give me some titanium. Very good. Another one of these. Perfect. Some more titanium. Two more of those, because that's something I need as well. This music is actually very fitting for... Seek light fragment. More titanium. For gathering resources. <laughs> this is cool. I think that I have what I need now, maybe? Unless I can get one more copper. Then that would be ideal as well. Is that? Nope, that tricked me. I thought those, those were what I needed. Oh, that's what I need, though. Please let it be copper. Titanium. And that's copper. Okay, what can I consume? Water. I'm, I'm thirsty. I'm definitely taking the copper over the titanium. Is there anything I can use? No, not really. Okay. Bye-bye, titanium. <laughs> that, at least, I can get plenty of just by harvesting a lot of those. All right, so I can make the titanium ingot, which is perfect. That's what we need for the hull upgrade. Then I can go ahead and make a ton more batteries. I think if I make two and save the other copper, I think I had three car. Nope, never mind. Oh wait, I do actually. So that's good. I can. I don't need to change you, but I can change the scanner now when I need to. Uh, I can put away the dead battery on, in here until we need it. And let's go ahead and make this stuff. So, Seamoth Death Module Mark 1. And then I didn't make the hull reinforcement, so I'm going to go ahead and make that. Because that's good. Don't have the prawn suit yet, though. And here we go. Hull reinforcement. ka -ching. Depth module. Craft depth now 300 meters. So I assume I would be able to add another module of the same one, and then it would increase it still. I think. Wow. Need some more railing on this thing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I need to access the storage because I need to repair this poor thing. Uh, can I not swap them out? Put the... Nope. Okay, put this in here. Put this down there. Put the laser cutter in here. I think that's fine. First aid kit. That's on me. That's fine. Uh, turn that off. Uh, wait, hell. Why can I not repair it? Thank you. Nope, that's wrong button. I keep pressing the wrong buttons in this game. There we go. Apparently I can't do it while it's hanging there. So that's interesting. There we go. Fully repaired. And reattach, please. Thank you. Get out. Swipe. There we go. So I think I have everything that I need now. Fire extinguisher, maybe another one? Because that thing is on fire and have been on fire for 14 days now. So if we can make another fire extinguisher, that's probably a good idea. I can't. I need more titanium, which I left behind. Oh, dear me. But I'm pretty sure I have everything else that I need, if I'm not mistaken. We have power cutter, we have repair tools, we have almost two fire extinguishers. First aid kit, we have water. We have food, which is in there. I can go ahead and unload all this. And I think we're good. Maybe we bring some potatoes this time. Wow. That's a lot of potatoes. How much do they... How much do they do? 12 food and 3 H2O. And these lantern fruits. A little bit less. So the potatoes are actually better. Add a little bit of water as well. I'm gonna do that. 
We're gonna bring all these because we will be able to eat them fairly quickly. I just need to get some titanium scrap real quick, which I know was in this area. And once we do, we can make another fire extinguisher just to be safe. And then we're ready for in the next episode. Oh, hello. What are you? There we go. Whole fish. Interesting. But yeah, as I was saying, oh, more food. Actually, can I set it free? Drop. There we go. <laughs> Realized I didn't need the food anyway. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, in the next episode, we are going to the Aurora. Where is that piece of titanium that I saw? I saw a piece of scrap metal titanium around here somewhere. Where did it go? Ah, here it is. Here it is. Grab that. And I don't know if I have checked this just yet. I assume I have. Uh, yeah, I have. I, I recognize it. Ooh, I should definitely get the sea glide, though. That's going to fill up my inventory a lot, but... It might become useful. I don't know how useful, but it could become useful, so I'm gonna grab it. I don't have space. <laughs> I don't have space for it. Um, that's okay. I can turn that into titanium. And I can make another fire extinguisher. And maybe I'll have space now? Maybe? Maybe? Potentially? I mean, I can put you away. And I still need three slots. Um, fine, I'll eat one of these. Add this over. Definitely bring all that. Okay, uh, don't really need the base habitat builder. I can leave that in here, which I will definitely forget. Right! Actually, now that I think about it, uh, put it here. Take it. Take the battery out of it. Unload battery. There we go. No power. That's the plan. And put you in there. Nice. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Probably a little bit of a shorter one, but we are now ready to go to the Aurora. Unless we get a last minute radio transmission, which is not the plan, so hopefully not. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed, ladies and gentlemen. If you did, please sure leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm excited for the next episode, and I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye-bye.